The sensation of pain is an alarm system, alerting you that something is wrong, but what exactly sets off this complex warning in your body? Today, we dive deep into the biochemistry of pain, uncovering the mechanisms that trigger these unpleasant sensations. The initial spark, nociception. The journey into pain begins with nociception. This process involves nociceptors, specialized sensory neurons that detect potential harm, such as extreme temperatures, harmful chemicals, or physical force. When these nociceptors are activated by a stimulus, they transmit signals through the nerves towards the spinal cord and eventually reach the brain, where the sensation of pain is recognized. The role of chemical messengers. As these signals travel, various chemicals play critical roles in amplifying or dampening the pain. Substances like prostaglandins are released at the site of injury, enhancing the sensitivity of nociceptors and making them more likely to react. Think of it as turning up the volume on your pain perception. Pain and the brain, a two-way street. Once the pain signals reach the brain, it's not just a one-way communication. The brain assesses these signals, influenced by emotions, past experiences, and expectations. It then sends back its response, which can either suppress or heighten the sensation of pain. This is where neurotransmitters like endorphins come into play, often referred to as the body's natural painkillers. Chronic pain, when the system goes awry. Sometimes, the pain signaling pathways become overly efficient due to prolonged injury or illness. In chronic pain scenarios, the nociceptors and neural pathways might become altered, leading to persistent pain even in the absence of the original stimulus. This misfiring can be due to genetic factors, sustained inflammation, or even psychological conditions such as stress and anxiety. The biochemistry of pain involves a delicate and intricate interplay of physical and chemical processes. Understanding these can not only demystify why you feel pain, but also open avenues for more targeted pain management therapies. Whether it's acute pain that quickly informs you of injury or chronic pain that lingers and affects quality of life, the biochemical processes are fundamentally similar but complex in their manifestation. So, the next time you experience pain, remember that it is not just a simple signal from your body, 